We are here today with Jack Marks, Managing Director of Marks Value Partners and publisher of Wall Street Reporter. Welcome, Jack. Glad to be here. Jack, what is the strategy that you utilize to increase shareholder value for your clients? What we use is something called investor direct marketing, which utilizes the proven scientific principles of direct marketing to help a company communicate their message uh, to individual investors as well as institutions uh, using uh, the media, using advertorials uh, in the newspapers, magazines, uh, using television, uh, direct mail, opt-in email, and uh, all sorts of media to help a company communicate their message to the maximum number of possible investors, uh, which are potential prospects for the company to become shareholders. Of all the tools that are out there today for getting that message out to potential shareholders and to current shareholders, which do you think is the most valuable and the most cost efficient for potential clients? Right, that's an interesting question. Uh, what we found is uh, the internet, whether it is uh, uh, using opt-in email with certain lists, uh, as well as uh, there, are other, there are other media like uh, Investors Business Daily or Barron's where we can take out advertorials and help a company tell their story which reaches millions of investors and they have a, a built-in audience. Uh, as well as of course Wall Street Reporter Magazine which uh, online and in print uh, reaches a very targeted uh, demographic. Uh, but there, there is a lot, but one of the key things I think that um, it's important to understand is what investor direct marketing is about and the way we, we do it at Marks Value Partners is that it's important to use all the different forms of media at the same time. Creating uh, interest in a stock is just like marketing any other product. Just like Procter & Gamble doesn't rely on just uh, television or just magazine ads to, to market Tide, and just like Nike or Coca-Cola don't use just television or billboards to market their products, same thing with a stock. It's important to, to use all sorts of media because you have to reach investors. Uh, there, people's attention spans today are, there's so much uh, competing for their attention, uh, that you have to reach people in different ways. And uh, whether it's through the email, whether it's through an advertorial they might see in the Investor's Business Daily, whether it's through a CEO interview in Wall Street Reporter Magazine, uh, it's critical to reach them across all sorts of media uh, because you know studies have shown that people need to hear a message across multiple media at least eight times before they take action. So, uh, for, for especially for small cap companies, if they want to get above noise and to get noticed by the, by the investment community, they have to utilize all these forms of media. And that is what I think separates us from anybody else who is uh, you know, coming up with IR type of programs, is that our focus is on really creating a, a message and communicating that to the most amount, uh, to the biggest number of potential investors possible. Our goal is to use uh, all forms of, you know, these various forms of multimedia to communicate the company's investment story to the greatest number of potential investors possible and uh, create that awareness and convert those prospects, those prospective investors into actual shareholders. Okay, Jack. Right. All companies out there today, they need to get that message out there to mm -hmm. the public and they want to explain their story. What do you do mm -hmm. at Mark's Value Partners that's unique, that's different, and that's cost efficient to your right. potential client that's going to get that stock price up to where it belongs so there's full value in the market and that they can then pursue their business? Right. That's a great question because a lot of times, you know, the, the company's stock price has a direct relationship on the success of the fundamentals of, of the business. And uh, we're focusing on two things. Number one, creating a clear, concise story that'll engage the imaginations of the investment community. Uh, we have to create, we have to help a company. A lot of companies have, they may have a great business. They may even have a great story, but a lot of times they don't really communicate it in a way that investors can uh, understand. And which is something that uh, is, is, a big, is a problem a lot of times. And number two, once we have that message down, and by the way, creating that message is, it's almost like an app, you have to think of this as essentially marketing or advertising. Again, creating a, an effective advertising campaign does take time. There's a lot of thought that goes into it. And uh, again, part two is where we create the media campaign, where we take that message and we get it out to the maximum number of potential investors. And there, 
again, we have to figure out which forms of media will work for which company. Uh, we want to essentially take that uh, media budget and help a company get the most bang for the buck. Whether some companies might be better off with direct mail, others might do better with advertorials, it really all depends. Um, and again, these, these programs, uh, to, to get the, you know, these media programs, they're not inexpensive. Uh, it may cost three to $500,000 over a period of three to six months to reach you know, the, the number of potential investors that can, again, have uh, a meaningful and sustainable uh, effect on, uh, on the stock. Okay, but the downside to not doing mm -hmm. this is that companies absolutely need to have the appropriate right. investor relations program in place or in today's market right. there's such the, an inundation of information out there so right the downside you know yes. uh, again uh, for companies i think the downside is if companies keep doing what they've been doing they're going to get the results that they've been getting and uh, you know i think one of the one of the problems today is that companies believe all they need is to hire an, an investor relations firm and that'll solve all their problems that's not true an investor relations firm is good, it's very effective for a larger company. It's also, by the way, every company needs to have uh, a quality investor relations effort. Somebody to put out press releases to communicate with, with shareholders. But what's critical, absolutely critical, is they have to have an investor marketing, a, a direct marketing program to get the message out to the biggest number of potential investors. Just like, you have to look at it, again, as the way public relations and advertising work as two parts uh, of a whole. Uh, any, any sophisticated company, whether it's Nike, whether it's Procter & Gamble, Microsoft, Mercedes-Benz, you name it, they don't rely on just advertising. Or, and they don't rely on just public relations. They use both because advertising supports public relations and public relations supports advertising. And the same thing here with, in, the, in the world of finance. Um, in, investor relations is, is supported by you know, these comprehensive, these media campaigns which uh, create massive, massive awareness and that's reinforced through uh, press releases and all the other things that investor relations firms do. But again, I always tell companies, if they just rely on having an investor relations firm and believe that's going to solve their problems, they're making a very big mistake. Uh, and again, if they rely on just direct media, you know, this investor direct marketing, that again is not enough. They need both. And uh, if they combine investor direct marketing with Mark's Value Partners with their existing IR effort, I think that's a formula for success. Excellent. Microcap stocks, how do they get their message out there? What are their unique challenges? And what can you do to help those companies get right. that stock price up where it belongs? Right. It's a great question. Uh, the, the unique problem with microcaps is, as I think most people know, is that they're not on the radar screen of uh, the investment community. They don't get any coverage in the media because, again, the media can only focus on the type of companies that have a lot of shareholders, that, that, you know, like Microsoft, General Electric, uh, you name it. Uh, what microcaps need to do is they need to be proactive in creating that awareness. They have no other choice. They have to use uh, what we talked about, which is investor direct marketing, to get their message out to investors directly. The, the great thing is that uh, you, know, you have the internet today, which is a tremendous resource for these companies. Uh, using uh, sophisticated opt-in email programs. And again, I'm not talking about spam, I'm not talking about any of these like okay. things. We're talking about like really, you know, using quality lists, quality content uh, to get that message out. And again, a lot of these stocks, they have big followings. Uh, they have grassroots sort of support on uh, message boards. And these marketing programs that we create, they feed into these message boards, these grassroots communities. It doesn't take a lot to create interest, it, once once you have it going, it really it's a you know that's that's where the uh, sustainability comes in. The main thing is to really to, to launch these um, launch these uh, companies sort of into orbit, if you will, um, and then it's pretty much uh, you know it goes from there. Jack, thank okay. you so much. Pleasure to be here.